boiler. What? No! Wait! We can't stop here. This is bat country. God damn! I never rode a convertible before! Is that right? Well, I guess you're about ready then, aren't you? Well, you're friends. We're not like the others, man. Really? No more of that talk or I'll put the fucking leeches on you, understand? <laughs> Get in. How long can we maintain, I wonder? How long before one of us starts raving and jabbering at this boy? What will he think then? This same lonely desert was the last known home of the Manson family. Would he make that grim connection when my attorney starts screaming about bats and huge manta rays coming down on the car? If so, well, we'll just have to cut his head off and bury him somewhere. Because it goes without saying that we can't turn him loose. He'd report us at once to some kind of outback Nazi law enforcement agency and they'll run us down like dogs. Jesus, Jesus did I say, I say that? that? I was just thinking. Was I talking? Did they hear me? It's okay. Just admiring the shape of your skull. No thanks. Maybe I better have a chat with this boy, I thought. Perhaps, if I explain things, he'll rest easy. All right, listen. There's one thing you should probably understand. Can you hear me? Good. I want you to have all the background. This is a very ominous assignment with overtones of extreme personal danger. I'm a doctor of journalism, man. This is important, goddammit. This is a fucking true story. Shit! Wait, where are you going? Get the fucking... Get your hands on my fucking neck! No, no, no. Our vibrations were getting nasty. But why? Was there no communication in this car? Had we deteriorated to the level of dumb beasts? I want you to understand that this man at the wheel is my turning. He's not just some dingbat I found on the strip, man. He's a foreigner. I think he's probably Samoan. It doesn't matter, though, does it? Are you prejudiced? Hell no. <laughs> I didn't think so. Because in spite of his race, this man is extremely valuable to me. Oh, shit. I forgot about the beer. You want some? Oh. How about some ether? What? Never mind. All right. Let's get right to the heart of this thing. 24 hours ago, we were sitting, sitting in the Pogo Lounge at the Beverly Heights Hotel. A classic affirmation of everything right and true in the national character. A gross physical salute to the fantastic possibilities of life in this country. But only for those with true grit. And we are chock full of that, man. Damn right! My attorney understands this concept, despite his racial handicap. But do you? <laughs> he said he understood. But I could see in his eyes that he didn't. He was lying to me. Medicine! What? Medicine! Medicine? Oh, yeah, medicine, right. It's right here. Don't worry. This man has a bad heart. In China, pectoris. But we have a cure for it. Uh, here you go. All right. Big whiff, big whiff, big whiff, sonny boy. Uh, there you go, much better. Now for the doctor. Me? What the? What the fuck are we doing out here in the middle of the desert? Somebody call the police, we need help. We need help. We need help. We need help. <laughs> the truth. Truth? Now we're going to Vegas. Vegas. To croak a skag baron named Savage Henry. That's true. Why? Because I've known him for years, but he ripped us off. And you know what that means. And you know what that means, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Savage Henry has cast his check. There's his check. I want to rip his lungs out. Better eat them. That bastard won't get away with this. I mean, what is going on in this country when a scum sucker like that can get away with sandbagging a doctor of journalism? Can you tell me that? Hey! Hey, to the right! I like to drive, Billy. Don't worry about me. Wait a minute! Come back and have a beer! I'm gonna miss him. Move over. Did you see his eyes? We have to get out of California before that kid finds a cop. 